Hello, my friends. It's Christina Lindzen. I hope that you're having a blessed and beautiful day. Look at this bounty I have sitting in front of me, all from God's medicine cabinet. Yes, today I am talking about superfoods. We've heard that buzzword, right? It's a buzzword that is used in the nutritional area. Mr. Webster, the dictionary, defines a superfood as a food that is rich in compounds that are considered to be beneficial for a person's health. So, yeah, and just look at what all I have here. I have the citrus family. I have the leafy greens, non-starchy leafy greens. I have the legume family, lentils. You could get canned beans. If you go with canned beans, please get the beans that are in water and sea salt. That's it. Look at your ingredient list. Berries, um, people ask, frozen versus fresh. You can go either way, but I will tell you, I have started using more frozen fruits than fresh because number one, they last, and number two, if they are put up immediately, they maintain more of the antioxidants that are the healing nutritional dense ingredients that are in a lot of the berries. I've got nuts and seeds and goji berries. I've got avocado, lots of fat in this little guy, but lots of nutritional, healthy, heart healthy fats. Yes, speaking of other high fat um, ingredients that are beneficial for us, salmon. Salmon has a lot of fat in it, but it's heart healthy and it is so, so good. Sardines, mackerel, um, the tinier the fish, the higher the omegas, the higher the um, nutritional value and the less amount of mercury you're gonna be taking in. So yes, lots of heart healthies here. Lots of God's medicine cabinet. What makes a superfood a superfood? It's foods that are low in calorie and high in nutritional value. Antioxidants, phytochemicals, polyphenols, fiber, fatty acids, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, lean proteins. That's what makes a superfood a superfood. You incorporate a bit of a lean protein with some leafies, you've got a great meal. Lots of salad eating going on here at our, ha at our family house. One, a couple other things. Dark chocolate, fabulous, full of antioxidants, so, so good for you. I try to add a little bit of cocoa to my coffee in the morning. And last but not least, green tea. Green tea is so full of antioxidants, so healing, nutritional dense. I challenge you, my friends, take a look when you go into the produce section next time. Pick up some things that maybe you otherwise wouldn't have picked up. Try to steer clear from as many of the bag, the, the middle of the store, try to steer clear of that as much as possible. God's medicine cabinet, your superfoods are gonna be on the outer parameters. Yes, most of this is produce, right? Don't ever give up on God's promise that there is hope. Even if you were in a dark storm, my friend, there is hope. There is hope in his cabinet. There is hope in love. You are worthy of that love. And as I always, always like to say, don't ever miss a moment to make it count. Mm. Mwah.